Instacart is so bad now. In my early North Carolina days of delivery driving in June 2022, Instacart used to be 29% of my income compared to other apps. I mean, look at these orders that I used to get. Do you guys remember the days when these batches were not too uncommon and they really helped out? Since then, things have drastically changed. Over time, the market evolves, apps update and make changes as well. And currently here in Phoenix, as of last month, Instacart is now less than 3% of my income compared to other apps. Now, it's also market dependent. For example, Walmart Spark held a much higher chunk of percentage of my earnings when I worked in Boston because Walmart was amazing over there. But the overall underlying trend is I've been doing Instacart less and less and less as the months go by, no matter where I am. So what happened? So when I first moved to Boston in summer 2022, Instacart was still pretty decent for me. It actually stayed that way up until like the beginning of 2023 for me. I started to notice that I never got those huge $30, $40 plus batches anymore. In fact, I never even saw them. Like they straight up went extinct like the dinosaurs. But I was still able to do those quick low item CVS orders, like $13 for five items, a couple miles. A big thing that people blame it on is the proximity update where it doesn't show you orders unless you're like in the parking lot. Again, I'm not 100% sure the exact date that this update came out because in my experience, I noticed the changes gradually over time. I used to be able to just run DoorDash and Uber Eats and keep my eye out on Instacart and then swipe something super good that was like 15-20 minutes away at times and then finish up the DoorDash I was on and head to the store and even with the commute it'd still be worth it because some of the orders were just so good but what people are saying is that that is what they're trying to prevent so they want you to sit in front of the grocery store and just wait for orders. Now I'm never going to change my strategy I still do this strategy I just barely get Instacarts. The only ones I get nowadays are like I said the quick $10 for a couple of items couple of mile ones. They could still be pretty decent they're just rare and they're not the $30, $40 batches that I feel like this app is made for. But today, we're going to do what Instacart wants us to do and see if we could actually get orders like the ones that I used to get. That's what they're promising. If I sit in front of the parking lot in the bubble, let's see what happens. I usually don't do this strategy. This is actually my first time trying it. So we're going to sit here for one hour. You're in a great spot for these recommended stores. You'll see batches in the highlighted area before shoppers outside of it. Batch in 5 to 15 minutes, Costco. Sitting and just camping waiting for an order is not what I'm used to. I'm more of a swipe Instacart on the go while I'm multi-apping type of guy. Keep in mind, it is 3 p.m. on a Monday, so it's not a busy period, but it also doesn't seem like this is a busy Costco either. Hey guys, it has been 20 minutes, and like I expected, nothing yet. I also don't have priority access to batches because I'm not diamond cart. That shit sounds like something straight out of Minecraft. Apparently, you have to do 200 orders in a short amount of time in order to qualify for that. And I'm nowhere near that because I do DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Walmart Spark most of the time. I got kind of bored of waiting, so I went to the food court and decided whether I wanted to eat something. But what the heck, a roast beef sandwich? Out of all the things that you could have added to the menu, roast beef? And it's the most expensive thing too. Whoever thought of this needs to get fired immediately. They probably came over from Arby's. I was going to eat something, but now I lost my appetite. All right, guys. So it's been over a half an hour now. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to do a food delivery shift. We're going to keep Instacart on in the background. See if we even get one Instacart worth doing today. I'm just going to accept orders like I usually do. Multi-apping with all apps. And see which ones I pick. We got DoorDash right now. Let's see what it is. Plant B? What kind of name for a restaurant is that? Well, we're gonna decline that, it's $5, but let's see what we get next. So let's see which app can provide us with the most orders today and if Instacart could even get on the scoreboard at all. First order is from DoorDash, second is from Uber Eats, and then an add-on upping Uber Eats to two points, and of course, not a single Instacart, not even a bad order, just nothing. Another one from Uber Eats bringing it to three. DoorDash was gray around this time, so we had to rely on Uber Eats again for number four. DoorDash came back with this Little Caesars to bring it to two points. And overall, a pretty bad Monday dinner shift, so I cut it a little short. And not only did I not do any Instacarts, I didn't even get a single one the entire three hours I was out today. But we're not done. There is one more strategy that I want to talk about and try in this video, and that is the cost. Costco drop. Apparently at 10 a.m. Costco sends out a bunch of orders at once as the store opens and this is how a lot of those people get those huge batches. My friend used to work in the Santa Barbara, California area during the COVID times and he was making bank doing this. He said it was insanely lucrative and he only did Instacart. He didn't even need the other apps. 
These are all Costco drops at 10 a.m. Look at these orders popping up. Multiple $100 batches. Look like he swiped a 134. Another one right here. These orders are insane. He got a 110 here. Only 23 items. 163. I mean, that's basically a full workday right there. Personally, I've done some good Instacarts, but I've actually never seen a batch over $100 ever on my phone. Even when I worked in Boston, he doesn't live there anymore, so he doesn't know if it's still this good anymore over there in Santa Barbara. But I could assume probably not because, like I said, this was closer to the COVID times and before all the app updates that ruined the app. So we're going to try this one more time and give this strategy a go, hitting the Costco drop by 10 a.m. to see if I could get better results. All right, guys, it is 9.55 a.m. We're outside of a Costco, and we're going to try the Costco drop. This time, I'm actually going to keep my eye on my phone the entire time to make sure I get the batches when they drop. Let's see what happens. So I'll show a sped up time lapse of what I saw from 9.56 a.m. a couple of minutes before the store opened until 10.10 10 a.m. As you can see, no batches at all, no Costco drop. Zero orders the entire time. We could come to two conclusions. Number one, it's not as busy anymore. Or number two, not all Costco's are built the same. This one obviously does not seem like it's super busy for Instacart. So it's likely a combination of the two. But there's one more thing I want to talk about. That is the icing of the cake to Instacart's downfall. Can you guess what it is? Instacart shoppers wanted a pay increase, but instead, Instacart said, you think of what I'm thinking, and then aim for the bushes. The base pay has been decreased from $7 to $4. Somehow, instead of just simply stating that the base pay was lowered, they went deep into the English dictionary, deep into the English language, and decided to come up with competitive guaranteed batch earnings. That's how they decided to word the announcement when they lowered the base pay. This is the lowest one that I have a screenshot of on my phone. I think I remember seeing one that was like $4.97 from Walgreens, but I don't have a screenshot. So comment your experiences with Instacart lately. Has it been bad? Has it been good still for you? I know this video has just been me roasting Instacart, but at the end of the day, it's still good to have because when it does come through the 2.6% of the time, it can be good. Like this one I got recently that was actually not bad. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.